Okay, Dave, what we're going to talk you through here is a transition from the strong side to the support side. Just don't get ahead of me. I'll uh, kind of go along with this step by step so you make sure that you're on the right sheet of music there. Okay, so if you're using one of our slings, a VTAC sling, you're going to bring the weapon up on target as though you're going to take a shot. We'll go safety off, safety back on. Okay, at this point, you decide that you want to transition. You're going to reach back with your support arm, loosen the sling, drop your support arm through the sling, and regrass the front of the weapon. At that point, you take your firing hand, which at this point is your right hand. You reach up and grab the front of the magazine well, take a step forward, and transition the weapon to your support side. Once you get to this support side, make sure you're using your index finger, uh, trying to keep that straight to take the weapon off safe, so put the weapon on fire. Okay, you've taken your shot, safety goes back on, straight finger, firing hand, which is now your support hand, your left hand, reach up and grab the front of the magazine well, take a step forward, transition back to your strong side, make sure you've got that hand up there where you can activate your light. Okay, let's do that one more time. Go ahead and uh, tighten the sling back up. Okay, bring the weapon up on target, safety off, safety back on. Okay, support hand, reach back and loosen that sling. Drop your support arm through the sling, Regrass the front of the weapon. Firing hand grabs the front of the weapon, transition the weapon to the support side shoulder. Keep that index finger straight, thumb is on the, on the uh, other side of the weapon. Safety off. All right, you've taken your shot, safety back on. Firing hand grabs the front of the magazine well again. Take a step forward to transition back to your strong side and re-sling the weapon. All right, any questions on that? We're here on the covered range at the Advanced Law Enforcement Rapid Response Training Center in San Marcos, Texas, and training legend Kyle Lamb of Viking Tactics is here. He's going to be sharing with these guys the idea of how to transition from strong side to weak side, specifically for shooting around a barricade. He's also going to share some ideas about being very accurate around that barricade and maybe change the way you think about which knee should be down when you're in the kneeling position. Okay guys, the drill that we're going to do here is a barricade transition drill. We'll be going from the left to the right to the left to the right, back and forth. Uh, from the sides of the barricade. The reason we do this is so you guys get comfortable with manipulating the weapon in confined space as you're going to deal with here. A couple other things that we are going to change up. When you take your kneeling position around this barricade, normally folks would bring up their front knee. Uh, we're going to try to break that habit. We're going to bring up our back knee, which is going to allow us to step out, pop that corner a little bit better. And for you guys that are working in a team environment, you can have your buddy behind you. It allows him to have a little bit more maneuver room if you do want to do a, a high-low two-man corner clear. Okay, any questions on that? All right, let's get up on the barricades and I'll talk you through the positioning. So let's get a guy in each barricade. One, one more over here, Dave. Okay, so what we're going to do, when I give you an up, I want you to go to <clears throat> your strong side. Your strong side. So for you down there, John, you'll go left-handed. Three shots around the left side. Correction, three shots around your strong side. Transition the weapon, go back to your support side. Three shots around the support side of the barricade. Back to your strong three shots. Back to the support three shots. So how many shots is that? 12 rounds. Three right, three left, three right, three left. Any questions? Make sure you're putting your safety on as you transition from side to side. All right, shooters ready. Stand by, fire. Safety on, there you go. Good, good, there you go, good. Switch knees. Keep that elbow down, keep that elbow down. All right, shooters ready. Stand by, fire. Okay, drop that elbow through before you grab the front of the mag well. There you go, good. This firing hand. There you go. Good, good, good. Okay, fellas, good job on that drill. That's a barricade transition drill. Good job uh, being dynamic, going from side to side on the barricade. Just make sure you always keep your safety on when you're doing that and uh, keep that finger out of the trigger guard until you're ready to engage a target. Okay, good job. We're going to move on to a more advanced drill. I want you guys to go top off your magazines. Kyle, great to have you on the show. Yes, sir. Appreciate you letting us look in on what you're doing here with the transitions. Now, transitions is something that I, I've even heard some instructors talk about how, oh, don't worry about them, but I know it's something you really emphasize in your training, you think it's important. Let everybody know why. 
Uh, I think the, the biggest reason I like to transition is I've been shot at once or twice. And uh, I know back when we were in Mogadishu back in 93, if I could have got as small as possible, I would have done it. I tried. And I wasn't confident that, at that point in my shooting career to be able to go strong to support side confidently. Uh, once I had some uh, smarter guys than me tell me that it's probably a pretty good idea, I went out to the range. I dedicated about two hours to it. And it doesn't bother me a bit now to go to strong to support side. The other thing that we have to think about, you may be in a situation where you've got a right arm or a left arm not working. Well, what are you going to do now? We can't lay down and, and uh, just you know, forget about it. We've got to stay in the fight. So that's what we're trying to get across with these drills as well. In our courses, we actually make uh, uh, the street fighter and night fighter courses. We have guys shoot extensively with strong hand and support hand only. With their, with their carbine, which most guys don't do. No, we see that obviously a lot in the pistol classes, but not as much in the carbine. And, and really, it didn't take that much time. You spent some time this morning going over it dry. You got the guys in the barricades, and I know you're ready to do a more dynamic drill now. If it's all right with you. I'm going to jump in in that line. All right. Awesome. I'll get out of your way. I'll let you get those guys set up, and I'll see you back out here on the range. Roger that. Being an armed citizen means having a gun with you all the time. Carrying a firearm every day requires a holster that is both concealable and comfortable. Whether you choose our Super Tuck Deluxe or Mini Tuck, you'll have the confidence that comes from being discreetly and comfortably armed, prepared to face unforeseen dangers. Crossbreed holsters are handmade in the USA, come with a lifetime warranty and a two week try it free guarantee. Order your holster today at crossbreedholsters.com. Now, of course, any viewer of SWAT Magazine TV is familiar with Kyle Lamb and Viking Tactics, and I'm sure you're familiar with the training he provides, the tactics, the techniques, the information that will help you to take this gear into battle or to survive the worst case scenario for personal or home defense. But a lot of people don't realize the great gear that Viking Tactics puts out as well. Kyle, I appreciate you coming on the show today to share some information about this sling and also this other product that I know you believe in, that scope on that rifle. Yes, sir. We have the Viking Tactics sling on this rifle. It gives you the ability to go quickly. Uh, tighten up the sling, loosen the sling if you want to just by pulling the quick detach. Most of you should be familiar with that. We also, on this rifle, I have a low profile sling mount which allows you to, to mount this sling as low as possible, uh, keeping the side of the weapon relatively slick. Recently we've come out to the, with the two to one point sling conversion. It allows you to take the two point sling, simply come up, pluck your quick detach in and turn it into a single point sling. Most guys would actually have this attached to the rear receiver, but here I have it like that just for demonstration purposes. So to convert it back, I simply depress the button, pull back out, reattach to the low profile sling mount, and I'm back in business there. On this rifle here, I also have our Viking Tactics light mount, which you can see here. On top of this rifle, I have a new scope that's available from Leupold. It's the CQB SS. It's a one to eight variable powered scope. There's a lot of really cool features about this scope, and I really recommend you checking it out. Some of the features that we help Leupold design into this particular scope. First of all, it's a front focal plane scope, which means that the reticle will stay the same size throughout your, your zoom range. The rear of the scope has been knurled, so you can go simply grab the whole rear of the scope and twist it up to eight power and you'll be good to go. We also have locking turrets on this scope. Simply squeezing the turret will allow it to unlock. On the left-hand side of the scope, I can adjust the illumination for the reticle inside the scope. It's a really great piece of kit. If you're gonna be shooting anywhere from 100 yards out to 600 yards with your AR platform, this is definitely the scope for you. Once again, I'm Kyle Lamb with Viking Tactics. Let's uh, load them up and let's go hot. Everybody online, face down range, make your weapons hot. I spent uh, most of my life in the military, a little over 21 years in the Army. I started out in the 82nd Airborne. From there, I went to Special Forces, and after that, I served with uh, Special Mission Units in the military, Special Operations Programs, and I did that until I retired uh, in 07. I retired as a Sergeant Major, so it's about I'd reached the end of my usefulness in the military, and it's about time for me to get out and try to do something, something beyond that. It's time for me to pop this corner. I'm going to keep my back knee up. That way I can quickly step out to take my shots. Our mission at Viking Tactics is to train law enforcement military guys to deal with the one percenter. The active shooter, the hostage taker, whatever it might be, he's got to be able to deal or she's got to be able to deal with that one percenter and how you get inside that person's mind, how you can aggressively clear, clear a building, not just go into a, a corner and hide and wait to call the police. You are the police. You are the military. You don't have the ability to do that. You've got to get out there and, and get into the fray. So that's what we're probably most proud of is being able to take innovative tactics. And they're, they're nothing new. It's just stuff that the military hasn't been able to give to law enforcement. Uh, and now we're able to try, try to pass on some of those lessons learned also from 
uh, my time in combat, trying to pass on those lessons learned. Put the vertical grip in front of your wrist and pull back on it. How do you like uh, that? Much better. There you go, good. I love to teach. I absolutely love to teach, whether it's teaching somebody to fly fish or elk hunt or shoot. Shooting is my passion, hunting is my passion, and everything that I do focuses around hunting and, and, and shooting and teaching folks to do that. I also feel like I owe it to the community to give back as much as I possibly can, and that's the only way I can give back. I can teach the young warriors what they need to do in some of the situations that I've been lucky enough to survive through. Move, hustle, hustle, hustle. What probably sets us aside a little bit more is I have a very open mind. I'm constantly changing our program if I see something that works better. If I'm dealing with a law enforcement officer, might have a year on the job, might have 20 years on the job, and they teach me something, I'm gonna pass that on to the rest of the community. Along with that, we're very dynamic with what we do. The movements are dan dynamic. We try to take people way out of their comfort zone, shooting right hand, left hand. We don't say weak side, we say support side. We try to get that mindset with the shooting and I think that's what sets us aside. It's realistic training, and we've been there, we've done it, we've, we've been in battle, we know what we're talking about. Okay, let's do that one more time. Go ahead and uh, tighten the sling back up. Our flagship of our company is our sling. The Viking Tactics Sling is the most copied sling you're gonna see out there. Uh, people have realized that a two-point sling is, is not a bad way to go. Uh, now that they're running around in the streets, they're cuffing people, crawling over walls. So that's, we're, we're pretty proud of the design of that product, so we keep trying to bring that innovation with, uh, we developed some hunting slings, some archery slings, craziness that I never thought we would get into, but if, if we need to innovate, I, I love doing it. It gives me uh, something to do when I'm not on the road, which is about two days a month. If you don't see good sights on the target, don't shoot, because we want to make sure we don't shoot those tires, okay? SWAT Magazine delivers great information straight to your doorstep every month. Head over to SWATMag.com and subscribe today. Being an armed citizen means having a gun with you all the time. Carrying a firearm every day requires a holster that is both concealable and comfortable. Whether you choose our Super Tuck Deluxe or Mini Tuck, you'll have the confidence that comes from being discreetly and comfortably armed, prepared to face unforeseen dangers. Crossbreed holsters are handmade in the USA, come with a lifetime warranty and a two week try it free guarantee. Order your holster today at crossbreedholsters.com. Welcome to Personal Defense Network. For years, we've been the internet's leading destination for high quality information on equipment, training, and your preparation for personal or home defense. Our videos are meant for those who are serious about enhancing their ability to use efficient techniques to survive a dynamic critical incident. But now we've stepped things up even higher. We've added hours of high quality training videos just for our premium members. This content takes the body of work that is the Personal Defense Network up to an even higher level. We've got the same types of experts that you're used to seeing, the people who know not only what to teach, but also how to teach, and most specifically, how to convey that information to you efficiently with premium online content. This is simply the best stuff you can find on the web. So how do you get started as a premium member? Simple. First, choose the plan that suits you. You can either pay monthly or sign up for a whole year in advance. Then you're gonna find categories of videos that are meant exclusively for you to help enhance your preparation for personal defense. Let's go inside and take a look. On the categories page, you'll find that all of our topics are organized in a way that makes sense so that you can easily find the information you're looking for. Once you go to a specific category, you'll see our normal short length video tips. You'll also see step-by-step -step drills with written instructions, as well as full length courses that are designed to help you learn as efficiently as you can with the time you've got. And of course, as you've come to expect from the Personal Defense Network, we're always adding new information. We're constantly out taping and collecting video with experts from around the world that you can find inside of your premium membership. And the best thing, you'll be able to take this membership with you with a smartphone, mobile device, or simply log in at whatever computer you happen to be by. Our goal with the Personal Defense Network is simple, provide you with the highest quality video learning tips that are available. You'll find them inside of the premium membership. All you have to do is choose how to get started, monthly or annually, and I'll see you on the inside.
it's time to look at another great product from Crossbreed Holsters. And today we're going to look at what my favorite Crossbreed Holster is, the Appendix Carry. Now I'm really proud of having worked with some of the prototypes and helping them to design the exact contour of the leather and the exact position and feel of the holster itself because I really do like Appendix Carry. I'm very happy carrying a firearm right here in front of me where it's in control, I don't have to worry about it protruding, and I know that I can reach it with my strong hand or my weak hand and do presentations even while I'm entangled with someone in extreme close quarters situations. Now appendix carry has become very popular and if you're thinking about trying it or if you're already doing appendix carry, I highly recommend that you look at the crossbreed holster as an option for you. Now like all crossbreed products, it's high quality, made in the United States of America, and you really just can't get much more comfortable than having this high quality leather against your body or more efficient than having a good Kydex holster, and that's really the beauty of the crossbreed design, as we know. The metal clip is adjustable. We can set different heights so that the holster will ride at different depths relative to your waistband and to your belt line. We can also adjust the angle very easily on the metal clip. What this means is that I can be carrying in the normal appendix vertical position all day long while I'm standing and walking around. If I'm going to get in the car or if I'm going to be seated for an extended period of time and I don't find this as comfortable, I can now take this and put it in a cross draw position, adjust the clip so that it hooks onto the belt securely, and this is going to be a much more comfortable position for me to move around in that seated position in. Of course, I can then put it right back here. Some people might even choose to put a little cant into the gun when it's in the normal appendix carry position. The appendix carry setup is another great product from Crossbreed Holsters. Even in training, we often find reminders that strength and stamina are important for survival. Let's see what our experts have to say about fitness and what their recommendations are for you. It is absolutely critical. And, and you know, put it in perspective, you know, from my background, my lineage, it was absolutely integral to everything we did. The more physically fit you were, just the better overall operator you, you are. You can handle things like the stress, the fatigue, the emotional toll that all of that conflict is going to come with. So physical fitness is key and we see it within our training classes you know at the end of the day the fatigue the physical fatigue has a negative impact on your faculties your ability to think most important think straight and think with a clear head I think it's extremely important I think if you're gonna get where get to the fight and get away from the fight and and not just survive the fight but thrive in the fight I think you gotta have some physical fitness I don't think you have to be a triathlete to be successful out there in the, the law enforcement uh, community, but there's nothing wrong with more fitness. Uh, more fitness. Being fit is a, you know, it's a, is a term that we use very loosely, but make no mistake, being fit plays a role in how you shoot, your, your brain, how you think things through, and a lot of people take for granted that being fit is strictly about muscles and, and looking good. However, being fit is training your brain. The better shape you're in, the better capable are, you are of responding to lethal force situations. Uh, your blood pressure tends to stay lower, which is very important. Uh, and uh, as far as re re regimens, yeah, it's going to depend on the person. Uh, some people respond better to other regimens than the other. others. Uh, me, I'm, I'm one of those that I prefer to just do body weight workouts and runs. Uh, you've got a lot of other people that are really into CrossFit right now. Uh, and it's an outstanding program for the simple fact that uh, you're working your cardio and you're working on uh, the, the uh, massive muscle groups as well and that uh, quick muscle process. I think fitness is number one. Uh, it doesn't matter what, how great a fighter you are, but if after two, three seconds you're huffing wind and you can't move, you're not going to be able to perform. All of a sudden, I think from a stronger perspective. I, I, I think even people on the cutting edge, law enforcement, military, even they're not constantly 100% of the time in battle, but yet 100% of the time you better be fit. You better have health. You better be able to climb stairs. You better be able to pick up a suitcase. Um, I just think that's just super important. Mm, extremely important. Uh, it, it, you, you've, got, you've got to be in good physical condition. Uh, regiment is going to change and vary um, with you know each each person as an individual, and whatever it is, you know, find it. If you're not gonna if you're not gonna enjoy doing it, I can more or less guarantee you you will not continue it. Fitness is extremely important. CrossFit is one of my personal favorites. You don't have to have a gym membership really. 
uh, as long as you're getting up and doing anything, um, just staying in shape in general is good for many reasons. But if you ever anticipate finding yourself having to defend yourself or your family, um, it's nice to have that card in your favor and not stacked against you. Okay, fellas, the next drill that we're gonna do here is a barricade catch-up drill. The way it's gonna work, you're gonna shoot three rounds around the left, three around the right, three left, three right, three left, three right, all the way down the line, okay? Three good rounds. Don't just hose them down there between the targets. I want you to put them into the paper, okay? Okay, make sure the safety's going on, guys, before you make your movement. All right, shooter's ready, move. Switch knees, switch knees. Good. Guys, one other thing that uh, we got to remember is there's nothing wrong with putting your hand on your cover. So a lot of you guys are staying way back. I can understand if this is all you had was a piece of plywood, you probably want to stay back from it so the bad guy can't see. But if this is a corner of a wall, you're in a school, you're in a building, whatever it might be, there's no problem with getting a little tighter on that. And then also, if you've got a T intersection you're going to clear, you're going to have to get tighter so your buddies can clear in the opposite direction. So sometimes when I take that, uh, that corner, I'm actually gonna be tight enough that if I have to, I can support the front of my weapon system right here. See what I'm doing? I'm grabbing here, I'm grabbing here. If it's on a vehicle, I may actually push my forearm into the side of the vehicle to do that. So don't be afraid to touch your cover if your cover is truly cover. Cover will stop bullets, concealment won't. This is concealment right now, but we're trying to pretend that it was cover, it's the side of a building or whatever it might be. All right, good job on that drill, guys. Keep working on that, it's a good workout if you'll put eight or 10 barricades, I think you'll get a lot out of it. Any questions? All right, let's move on to the next drill.